First of all, syllabus of this particular topic is introduction classification of adverse source groups. This is adverse source group. First, parameters, distribution of material in good way, advantages, limitations, and applications for modeling processes. Yet, we are going to study the following machine uh, like the predicted machine, ether wind machine, abrasive jet machine, ultrasonic machine, and electrochemical. Machine. First of all, in a traditional machine or conventional machine process that is turning the linear machines, use a sharp cutting force to form a machine from the work by sheer deformation. In this, all these processes are we have studied, already studied in the unit number one, two, and three. That is like grinding uh, machine. Then turning, milling, bridging, operations we have studied. That all this, all that type of machines are in additional machine processes. And now we will see in this video the non-traditional machine. The term non-traditional machine refers to this group as a whose excess material by various techniques involving mechanical, thermal, electrical or chemical error. They do not use sharp cutting tool in the conventional sense. In conventional machines, seriously, single point cutting tool, double point cutting tool, or multi point cutting tool is used for the only unwanted material of the process. But in non traditional machines, a single end of machine cutting tool is used. In the material removal, takes place to the application of cutting forces in non-traditional machine uh, different energy domains to provide for the machine. In cutting tool, the harder than the than work piece at a room temperature as well as under machining conditions. In non-traditional machine, the tool may not to be harder than work piece material. In high tool wear in a traditional machine, but no use of tool or no tool wear in a non-traditional machine. Classification of advanced machine or material removal process. Advanced material removal processes are generally classified according to the type of material used. For the material removal, the classification of this process based on the energy given as the mechanical energy is used, thermoelectric energy is used, chemical energy is used for electrochemical energy is used for due to remove the unwanted material or to give the shape to the what uh, give the shape to the raw material and it converts into a finished or semi-finished product. Generally in uh, non-traditional machines there is finished product is manufactured in a single process. The mechanical energy is used in USM, AJM, WJM, AWJM, thermoelectric energy EDM, EPM, LPM, PM, chemical energy, CHM, PCM, electrochemical energy, ECG, EG, EJ, and ECM. All these machines are we will see in the next diagram. In non traditional machining, there are different types of energy used like mechanical energy, electrochemical energy, chemical energy, and thermoelectrical energy. The basic mechanism used in a mechanical energy is shear or erosion. And in electrochemical energy, there is ion displacement is used a basic mechanism in this machine. And another in chemical machine, there is ablation action, ablative action is used is a basic mechanism. In thermoelectrical, there is a vaporization and fusion. Generally, Thermoelectrical process, there is material is removed in the vapor form. Source of 
immediate energy. In mechanical process, there is a mechanical energy, there is a cutting tool or pneumatic or hydraulic pressure is used. At all, generally in water jet machining or abrasive jet machining, there is a pneumatic here or liquid is used to curl the material. In electrochemical machining, source of immediate energy is high current. In chemical machining, chemically, chemically reactive agents. And in a thermoelectrical, there is high voltage, amplify light, and ionized material. The transfer energy medium in mechanical energy is physical contact. So, physical contact with the purpose and cutting tool. In erosion, there is a high velocity particles, high velocity liquids. Then, in electrochemical machining, there is an electrode, electrolyte is used as a carrier medium or a transfer energy medium. In chemical environment and in thermoelectrical, there is no uh, Thermoelectrical is divided into two vaporization, fusion. In vaporization, there is erosion and radiation, and in fusion, there is a four gases used. Process in mechanical, mechanical control bending. And in erosion, there is a ultrasonic machining and abrasive jet machining. And in high velocity liquid, there is a bundling jet machining. In electrolyte, there is electrochemical binding and electrochemical glue. In chemical, there are environment, the chemical itching, chemical machining, hot cooling machining. And in thermoelectrical, electrical discharge, erosion beam machining, ion beam machining, plasma machining. All these machines are involved into a non traditional machines. Abrasive jet machine. Abrasive jet machines consist of a air compressor used to compress the air at high pressure and pass through this pass through this electromagnetic shaker and to the nozzle and the that particular high pressurized air is uh, high pressurized air and abrasive particles are cut in material. The abrasive jet machine consists of air compressor, big pressure control wall, dryer, filter, mixing chamber, abrasive mix with the carrier gas, nozzle, and workpiece tape, workpiece and paper. In abrasive jet machine, a focus frame of abrasive particles carried by a high pressure air or gas is made to impact on the work surface through a nozzle and work material. Work material is removed by erosion by high velocity abrasive particles. So generally, in abrasive jet machining, there is an aluminum oxide or silicon carbide is used as a abrasive particles and a dry air that is carbon dioxide. Nitrogen or dryer is used as a carrier medium in the abrasive jet machine. In this electromagnetic shaker or chamber, the, the abrasive particles is fed through this through this feeder, and air is dry mix. Air is mixed passed through this mixing chamber so that the abrasive particles and water, sorry, uh, air or nitrogen or carbon dioxide is used as a carrier medium all these mix in this chamber and pass through these pipes and nozzle so that that particular high velocity particles or the abrasive particles are curled the material from the workpiece and remove the material from the workpiece so, see in this diagram also there is a air inlet compressor compressor compress the air at high velocity high pressure near about maintain the pressure of five megapascal and pass through this nozzle in this nozzle, the powder, the abrasive particle, uh, particle powder is mixed with this high pressurized air and passed with this with the high velocity and pressure from this nozzle and maintain the gap between this particular nozzle and workpiece so that easily remove the material from the workpiece. The abrasive jet machine, abrasive particles are made to impinge on the work material at a high velocity. The high velocity abrasive particles soak the material by micro cutting action as well as metal surface of the workpiece. The high velocity abrasive particles near about 150 
meter per second to 300 meter per second per second the velocity of that particular abrasive particles stand here and pass through this nozzle and impinge on this workpiece so that we have these black particles or abrasive particles called a material from the workpiece the gap between this workpiece and tool is near about 0.5 to 15 mm when this distance is too close then it will be affect on the cutting action as well as it will be hampered to the nozzle so that the particular distance or optimum distance is maintained between the one piece and two so that cutting action will be easy or it will create the required shape the process parameter the process characteristics medium medium CO2 compressed air or nitrogen is used as a carrier gas. Abrasive particles at the oxide 6.5 by the size of that particular field size 10 to 25 micron per micron meter. Then one piece glass, ceramics, semiconductor, closer, we call sapphire. Process parameter to rate 3 to 10 gram per second. Standoff distance or closer field distance is 0.7 to 1 mm. Velocity of the abrasive particle 150 mm 300 meter per second. Mixing ratio, mass flow ratio of abrasive particle. Yes, MRR 16 to 20 mm per second. Surface finish 115 to 1.5 micron meter. The mixing ratio near about 20 to 60 percent, uh, 20 to 30 percent, 20 to 30 percent abrasive particles are mixed in the ear. The distance between the tool and the workpiece is when we maintain the gap between the 0.75 mm, then it will create 0.5 mm diameter of the workpiece, hole of on the workpiece. When it distance is increases, then that particular nozzle or that uh, area of that particular uh, nozzle tip is all uh, we can say that uh, the particles area is increases in near about 7 degrees so that particular workpiece shape is in void so that we cannot sharply is created in the abrasive gate machining and the distance between the workpiece and tool is increases when it increases too large then it will create Instead of the circular hose, it will create the shallow. Advantages of abrasive gate machine the surface of the workpiece is cleaned automatically. Ability to cut intricate hole shapes in a material of any hardness and brittleness. Ability to cut fungi and heat sensitive material without damage as on heat is generated due to the passing of gas or air. Smooth surface finish can be obtained. Equipment cost is low, low capital cost. In uh, abrasive gate machining, there is a no contact between the workpiece, actual contact between the or physical contact between the workpiece and tool, so that the fungal material also can be uh, machined in an abrasive gate machining. But in traditional machining, there is a physical contact between the workpiece and tool, so that we cannot maintain the this type of handheld materials or uh, we cannot remove the unwanted material from the handheld materials. It is a hand sensitive material. Uh, in abrasive gate machining, due to the high velocity of the air or the uh, that particular carrier gas, the heat is forcefully transmitted from the workpiece to the environment. Smooth surface finish can be obtained. It is totally depend on the uh, grid size of the abrasive particles. When the grid size of the abrasive particles is too low, then it will be surface finish is very disadvantage of this abrasive gate machine. Better remote rate is low and the upper application is needed. In certain circumstances, abrasive particles might settle over the workplace in soft material. Nozzle like is less. Nozzle should be maintained periodically. Additional cleaning of the workpiece may occur as there is possibility of sticking abrasive grains in the softer material. It cannot be used for the soft material. In the second 
and multiple. In certain circumstances, Apache particles might settle over the one speed, one base, and so that we cannot use a machine for swap models because we could use this uh, Apache particles over the swap model when it will be spiked and stick over that particular uh, area and continuously it will be deep into that particular area so that we cannot use swap model in the abrasive jet machining. Application of abrasive jet machining. Abrasive jet machining. Machining brittle and deep sensitive material like glass, quartz, satin, ceramics, germanium, silicon, and germanium. The process find application in cutting slot, in section, cont uh, contouring, bridging, or producing shampoo. We use it for pads, deepening, or producing it in fitted shapes in hard and brittle material. It is often used for cleaning, polishing of plastic, cyanon, teflon, components, casting in the interior surface of glass beams, etching or marking on glass cylinders. Lubricants are not asked in the condition, so you can just go with these lubricants. Water jet and abrasive jet cutting these intricate shapes manufactured with the help of abrasive or water abrasive jet machine. A gentle water jet machine is used for the to cut the material, the soft material, or non metallic material like floor tiles. Uh, paper particles, paper materials, or paper uh, gas cans. It will be cut with the help of water jet machine. Water jet machine is not used for the removing material from the metals. Abrasive water jet. In this abrasive material, Water is used as a carrier material in the abrasive jet, abrasive water jet machining. In this diagram, there is a that water is passed through these frozen tendrils. The high velocity water is passed through these abrasive particles are mixed in this area and passed through this nozzle and be went over the work material so that this particular abrasive particles cut the material from the work mix. Ultrasonic machine. The next machine is ultrasonic machine. It's a non traditional process in which abrasive content in a slurry are given against the bulk by isolating at a low amplitude 25 to 100 microns and high frequency 60 to 30 kilohertz. In abrasive jet machining, oh sorry, in an ultrasonic machining, there is the abrasive particles are, or slurry is passed between the work. Piece, one piece and tool. So that the distance between this one piece and tool is two times of the grid size. So that easily material will be passed. In this there is a ultrasonic oscillator, motor, transducer, and batteries. Magnetostriction uh, oscillator is used. In this transducer, there is an electrical energy is converted into a oscillation or mechanical energy, the vibrations. These vibrations are creates or vibrations is near about near, uh, high frequency, near about 50 to 30 kilo hertz and material that when it oscillates and while abrasive particles pass through this the tool and workpiece, then material will be removed from this workpiece. The ultrasonic is the amplitude are around 0 0.0, the amplitude around 0 0.075 mm and the frequency approximately 20 hertz, 20,000 hertz. The tool oscillates in a direction perpendicular to work surface, perpendicular to work surface and is fed slowly into the work so that shape of the tool is formed on the work. However, it is the action of the abrasive impinging against the work surface 
that for funds we contain cutting the general arrangement of the irrigation process is depicted in this figure. The common tool material used in hydrosonic machining includes soft steel and stainless steel abrasive materials in USME include boron nitride, boron carbide, aluminum oxide, silicon carbide. All these abrasive materials are used in ultrasonic machining. Ultrasonic machining consists of high power sine wave generator, magnetostructive transducer, tool holder, tool. This is tool holder, tool. This is caustic hair or tool holder. This is one part, this is one paper. And this is slurry tank, slurry, and this is a motor or slurry pump. This slurry is passed to this pipe over the Work surface. High power sine wave generator. This unit converts a low frequency 60 hertz electrical power to high frequency 22 hertz electrical power. Transducer. The high frequency electrical signal is passed to transducer, which converts into a high frequency low amplitude vibration. Essentially, transducer converts electrical energy to mechanical vibration. A magnetostructive transducer is also a case in when subjected to a strong magnetic field. The transducers are made of male, male alloy sheets. They have conversion, conversion efficiency about 20 to 30 percent. Such transducers are available from 2000 watts. The maximum changes in a length can be, length can be achieved is about 25 microns. Tool holder. Or hot. The tool holder holds the con connects the tool to the transducer. It vertically transmits the energy and in some cases amplifies the amplitude of vibration. Material tool should have good acoustic property, high resistance to body cracking due to measures should be taken to avoid ultrasonic building between the transducer and tool holder. Commonly used tool holder are modern titanium stainless steel. Tool holders are more expensive and demand higher operating cost. Demand higher operating cost. Tools are made of a fine material like brass, stainless steel, or fine steel so that tool clear rate can be minimized. The value of ratio of tool clear weight and material demand rate depends kind of aggressive work material and tool material. Ultrasonic cutting. The tool vibrates with a specific frequency and abrasive slurry usually picture of abrasive planes and the water on a definite proportion is made to flow through the tool work interface and impact force arises by vibration of the tool and a flow of slurry through the work tool interface actually causes thousands of the microscopic microscopic Abrasions to be worked with test by abrasion. Material removed from the hard and written material will be the form of thinking, engraving, or any other precision shapes. Main uses of ultrasonic bedding plastics, wire bonding, and machining written material. The process characteristics to the material. Brass, mild steel, then abrasive aluminum oxide, silicon carbide, boron carbide used as abrasive particles. Abrasive size is near about 50 micron to 150 micron. Workpiece, hard and brittle material like brass, sapphire, aluminum, right? All these materials are used. Process parameters voltage near about 200 volt is used, current 12 ampere, fit rate is 0.1 mm to mm per second. Gap 0.2 to 0.5 mm. Vibration frequency 19 to 25 kilohertz. Amplitude 10 to 50 micrometers. MRR 15 mm to 20 and surface range 0.2 to 0.5 micrometer. Advantages of ultrasonic machine: it can use the machine hard, tough, fragile, and non conductive material. No heat is generated in work metal before cost is low. Non metal because of the poor electrical conductivity. By EDM and ECF, and it will be machined by the ultrasonic machine. It is 
world list and distortion based processes the machine components is stress free physical properties of material remains unchanged disadvantage is of auto solution low mr that is 13 mm per second hence not suitable for heavy metal to go rather high to be a low depth of core initial equipment cost and tooling cost is high power consumption for machine is also high a rather high tool be because of the energy capacity for this and tool is too close then it will be equal and opposite force act over the tool also so that the tool wear is more and due to this the cost of this machine is increases application of the efficiency sorry autosonic machine simplicity of the process makes it economical for a wide range of applications such as the production of tools tools of the shape of which tool can be made the range of obtainable shapes can be fixed by moving the workpiece to recover the performing machine operations like drilling grinding filing making operations on all material both conducting and non conducting in machining glass ceramics tungsten and other hard carbides gain stone such as particular in cutting tails in components made of hard metals and alloy by approximately rotating and translating either the work is solved to in work making tungsten carbide and diamond we drawing lines and type for coding and extruding procedures enabling a distinct dentist to build a board of any shape on teeth without creating any pain. Metal removal rate in a ultrasonic machine MRI is equal to 5.5, 5.9 in terms of R wise emitting sigma by H mm per second. Here, a frequency of the activities which are striking on the workpiece. Are radius of gain into the point zero vibrations at two in mm sigma stress induced in the two places in the mm square h surface hardness of the workpiece in the two mm square is equal to pi into fracture strength of workpiece. Cubicle glass is being machined at MRR of six mm per minute by aluminum oxide abrasive creeps having to decide the one thing micrometer. And if 100 micrometer grid waves that will be the MRR. In this, this formula is used for basically to calculate the MRR. In this, this MRR, KBG keeping all other variables unchanged so that the MRR one on MRR two is equal to DG one on DG two is equal to MRR two is equal to MRR one DG two on DG one. MRR two is six and two. This is all by using the formula that is six and two hundred divided by one fifty is equal to four mm per minute. Thank you, friends.